And I think there are too many questions. Part of the goal that we have using this chair is to bring people together for a conversation about research and ASD. Inside this room today, for example, there are people from every walk of life from all across this country. We have phenomenal stakeholders within the autism community. There's a dynamic when they get together that really strengthens what we're working on. It's all about the stakeholders, and Jonathan makes that very clear. When we first sat down to have a stakeholder meeting, I had all of these great ideas about the different interventions I wanted to develop and provide and study. And the community stakeholders let me know that there's a tremendous amount of excellent interventions that are already happening in our communities. And their message to me was, study what already exists. Well, it, it just helps to make sure that as each of us puts effort into uh, making life better for people with autism, um, that we're, we're moving in a direction consistent with what the families need uh, and what the research is showing. We want everything to be evidence-based. We want our research to resonate with people with ASD and their families. The important thing for me as a, as a parent uh, of two kids on the spectrum is to help have a voice in where the research goes. It could be fairly dramatic in terms of how at least I think of things and maybe how it gets instituted across NeuroDevNet. Decision makers and governments to be able to understand what we're doing and why we're doing it to inform better policies to support people with ASD. To be able to get together like this and sort of share what each other's working on, where we're seeing successes, where we see gaps, uh, is really an important piece of the puzzle. To put another piece of that puzzle into the puzzle board and connect it with everything else because it's all about connecting. Uh, it takes a community and a large community of Canadians and that's what we're trying to achieve. His stakeholders are across Canada uh, and I think that's the power that Jonathan can have.